Hi guys, in this lecture we will discuss about deployment models of cloud. First of all, what is deployment models? Deployment models define the type of access to the cloud. It means how the cloud is located. It defines the type of access to the cloud. There are four types of access to the cloud. First one is public, second one is private, third one is hybrid and fourth one is community. We will discuss first the public cloud. What is public cloud? Public cloud allows system and services to be easily accessible to general public. IT giants like Google, Microsoft, Amazon, uh, they all provide services through internet. So they are providing public cloud. We will understand public cloud through this diagram. These are the services, compute services, messaging services, application services, platform services, storage services. Uh, we will taking an example of Google. Compute services are the internal parts through which cloud provider manipulate their content. So these are computing services. Messaging services, suppose Gmail. The, uh, Gmail is the messaging services of Google. Application services. Application services are the services which are directly presentable to the user. So these are application services. Storage services. Storage services are the services through which data or content are stored on data server. These are storage services. Platform services. Network operating system. These are the services come under platform services. Uh, this is an administrator uh, who administrates all the services provided by the cloud. This is user and they can, these are the users, they can directly access the contents provided by the cloud provider. Benefits of public cloud. First one is cost effective. Suppose my company Kentaro uh, needs a facility of email, then it doesn't need to set its own infrastructure. They can directly use the email services by paying to Google. So public cloud is cost effective. Second one is reliability. <clears throat> there are uh, public cloud are distributed in nature. So there are high availability of servers. So in case any server is fail, we don't need to worry. So public cloud is reliable. Third, third one is flexibility. Suppose we want to add any new client or any new server to public cloud, we can add it without any difficulty so it is flexible in nature accessed by the users those are present in Jabalpur they can be accessed by anyone so it is location independent in nature now comes to disadvantages of public cloud first one is less security anyone who is present on internet can access the content of public cloud so it is less secure in nature Second one is less customizable. Suppose my company Kentaro uh, wants a particular content to be accessible by only their employees, then it is not possible through public cloud. They need to install private cloud. So public cloud is less customizable in nature. Thank you. Have a nice day.